Are you sure this is the right thing to do, Mr. Kent? Pete, Clark would not listen to reason. We don't have much of a choice here. I guess there's only one way to stop the unstoppable. Yeah. Excuse um, me. Mr. Kent. Pete, why don't you, uh, why don't you get going? Uh, Lex, this is really not a very good time. I understand you and Clark have been having some problems. Yeah, look, uh, I don't want to be rude, but I'd prefer it if you'd stay out of my family's problems. Believe me, Mr. Kent, I'm not trying to pry, but Clark's my friend. I'd hate to see his relationship with you fall apart. I appreciate your concern, but Clark and I can work this out. Then why is Clark hiding out at the mansion? Lex? Is that you? Hey. Whoa, oh, hey. What do you want? Well, I'll go back to your room. Better yet, pack your bags and get the hell out. I beg your pardon? Lex may be too afraid to tell you, but I'm not. No one in Smallville wants you here. You seem to know a lot about me. You've got a name. Clark Kent. Jonathan and Martha Kent's son? As far as I know, they're good people, salt of the earth. I'm astonished they've raised such a blatantly aggressive offspring. Well, if you like them so much, I'm sure they'll put you up. I hear they have a spare bedroom, and uh, I know they could use the cash. <laughs> You've got a lot to learn about tact, young man, but you speak your mind. That's good. It'll take you far. Oh, I'm going to the top. Mr. Luther? Yes. I apologize for the interruption. I'm a federal marshal. Your people at the gate let me in. Uh, what can I do for you? Well, this young man was seen last night leaving the scene of a disturbance in your son's Ferrari. <laughs> Is that while you were on your way to the top, Clark? Where can I find this girl? I've never seen her before. Is that supposed to scare me? How'd you do that? You've got no idea who you're dealing with. What's happening? Who's shooting? Don't worry, Lionel. He missed. I'll call security. Why are you looking for Jesse? It's not the girl, it's her father. They were witness protection. They rabbited. Why? He's a corporate whistleblower. His former employer offered me a million dollars if I could get the evidence from Jesse's dad. What kind of evidence? Computer disks, counting files, memos, endless smoking guns. Look who can split it. It's enough money to start a whole new life. That's a great idea. But who needs you? <laughs> forgot about me. Ready to go? Almost. I know about your father, Jesse, and the discs. We're not going anywhere until I have them. 